The squeeze play in online poker is one of the more risky moves you can make for two reasons. It's generally an outright bluff, and you are making it against two or more often loose and aggressive players. However, when done selectively, you can successfully use the squeeze play to build your stack in either cash games or tournaments. A squeeze play opportunity will normally present itself when a loose, aggressive player raises from early position. Then another player flat calls his raise, thinking he can call a wider range of hands against the loose, aggressive player. Then a late position player makes a re-raise with the intention of getting the other two players to fold pre-flop. That's the squeeze. The reason this is a valid play is because the loose, aggressive player is raising with a wide range of hands, and the player who called him knows that, so he would typically call with a wider range as well. The re-raise then sells a strong hand and a positional advantage after the flop. The most famous of all squeeze plays was made during the final table of the 2004 World Series of Poker when Dan Harrington, who was next to the shortest stack at the table, stole a pot holding 6-2 offsuit against two loose, aggressive players that he figured were playing light. The timely squeeze play, filmed for national television, convinced not two, but three players at the table to all fold better hands, and that single pot helped Harrington to a fourth-place finish that year, earning him $1.5 million. Wow. Okay, back to reality. Here we are in a $10 online poker tournament at Patty Power Poker, and we've been quite observant of a particular opponent who is playing a lot of hands and raising almost just as much. Now, under the gun, he's at it again and puts out a raise to 1250 and it gets folded around to this player, who takes a few seconds before calling the raise. Wow, now look at how big the pot is with just those two players and antes. It comes to you with your queen-10 offsuit. Now you have about 15 big blinds left in your stack, but you figure it's time to do something before you get too short. That 37.50 in the pot right now will also give you a good chance to go much deeper in the tournament. This actually is the time to make more risky plays in tournaments because if you get too short in relation to your opponent's stack size, you will be called by a wide range of marginal hands, some of which may very well be ahead of you. So your squeeze play in a spot like this is just not going to work. You want your opponents to fold preflop in a squeeze play, which means you need enough in your stack to cause your opponents some real grief if they make a bad call. Since your stack is only twice the size of the current pot, I would seriously consider pushing here with the intent of squeezing both players out of the pot. The reason to go all in here would be that your stack is committed to this pot anyhow, and in online tournaments, there's just a much higher tendency to call with weaker hands. So if you push all in, they would have to call another 6,500 chips each just to see the flop if they both called. Now, unless they have a premium hand, it's going to be a good fold for both of them after you raise. And when they fold, you've added about 45% to your stack. Now, just one more thing about the squeeze play. Be prepared to get called and lose the squeeze play just as often as making it work. You simply just get called more online. But for times when it works, you will realize what it takes to win big pots at crucial stages like this. The squeeze play is also one of those plays that just makes poker such an exciting game, so thanks for watching this video. There are a lot more poker training videos free to watch at the Poker School at pattypowerpoker.com.